Hey everyone, today I'll be demonstrating how to create workflows using object detection feature. In our demo, we will be blurring the image if we detect gun in the uploaded image. If the uploaded image does not contain a gun, we would be applying simple transformations like resizing the image. First, let's create a workflow. Click on workflow option on the left sidebar. Click create new. Name your workflow. Let's call this object detection. Click save. Now that we've created the workflow, let's add our first task. The first thing we need to do is to detect objects inside the uploaded image. For this, let's select the tagging task. Essentially, the tagging task runs a machine learning model and tags all the objects present inside the image. Let's look at a sample example here. I've run the tagging task on this image, and this is the sample JSON response that I received from the tagging task. As you can see, the tagging task has detected the object waterfall with 99% probability, which is correct in our case. Now let's go back to the example. The next thing we need to do is to blur the image if the gun object is detected in the image. Let's add the blur task. Let's select the blur amount to be maximum, which is 20 in our case. We also need to specify a condition which basically checks if the tags contain a key claw gun. For this, let's add the path, which is tags.auto, it should contain a key or gun. And click save. Let's do a quick recap of our workflow logic. First, we run the tagging task, and then we blur the image if one of the tags contain a key or gun. The next thing we need to do is to resize the image if it does not contain a gun. For this, let's actually create a branch, select the resize task, Add a random height and width. Also, we need to specify a condition here. Here, the condition should be exactly opposite to what we have specified in the blur task. So the path would be tax auto, and it should not contain a key call gun. Click save. So this completes a workflow setup. But there are a few more things we need to do before we can test out the entire workflow. First, we need to update the picker configuration with a new workflow configuration. So click on picker configuration, copy this code snippet, and update the file where the picker configuration is previously stored. Next, we need to add a webhook so that we can receive a JSON response after the workflow execution is complete. So go to configuration, webhooks, add your webhook. So this completes the entire setup. Now let's test our workflow using a couple of example scenarios. I'll be using JS Fiddle for the demo. In this demo, I'll be testing out two scenarios. In scenario one, I'll upload an image which contains a gun, and in scenario two, I'll upload an image which does not contain a gun. I'll also show you how the responses to a webhook will look like in both these scenarios. Let's go and upload the first scenario, which is up uploading an image which contains a gun. Click upload. In a few seconds, we should be receiving a response to a webhook. Here you go, this is a sample response that I just received. So let's copy this into the code editor to further examine it. So as expected, the object gun has been detected inside the tags element with a 99% probability. And we also see that the blur task has been run and the image has been blurred. So let's actually open this image to confirm if the image has been blurred. Here you go, the image has been blurred. So this confirms that our workflow logic works well in our scenario one. So now let's test out scenario two, which is uploading a clean image which does not contain a gun. So I'm going to upload this waterfall image and see what the response to our webhook would look like. Let's wait for a few more seconds, and we should be receiving a response on our webhook. Here you go. This is the JSON response that I just received. So let's actually copy this into the code editor and check out the response. So we can see that the gun object is not detected in the tags element. Also, the recess task has been run because there is no gun object inside the image. Let's open this image to confirm if the image has been resized. Here you go, the image has been resized to the set dimensions. So this confirms that our workflow logic works well in scenario two as well. So this completes our object detection workflow tutorial. Let us know if you have any further questions. Thank you.